When you're assembling the uh, new version of the modified Sizzix Sidekick for your 3D origami paper machine, you will use a flathead screwdriver, Phillips head, the horseshoe clip remover, a, a small screwdriver, and then a caliper, digital caliper. Hello everyone. I'm here to explain what to do with the new Sizzix Sidekick and uh, what you can do is modify it for the 3D origami the Halo 3D ODB origami machine so you're gonna take a brand new machine that looks like this and you're gonna turn it into this and one of the things that you have to do to get yourself ready is of course there's a screw right here and you're gonna disassemble it it's really easy to disassemble. As soon as you take this nut and bolt out, you can just pop it, pop it loose right here. And then one of the next things you're gonna work on is taking this rubber part and clip out of the machine, just pop it out. You're not gonna use it anymore. So you're just gonna pop it out and move it to the side. Another thing that you're gonna have to do is this handle here, you're gonna have to heat it up with a lighter and then you're gonna actually just take this handle, you're gonna throw it away. You're gonna, you're gonna heat it up with a lighter and you're gonna bend it off of this and you're just gonna throw it away. Inside of, inside of here, there's gonna be a pin and you're gonna take the pin, you're gonna take the pin out. And then what you're gonna do to make it fit the machine is you're gonna drill a hole. It's two millimeters with a drill bit. And this will, this will give you a chance to put your Allen wrench in to use the Allen wrench later. That's what this looks like. After you disassemble the machine, you're gonna take the guts out and the guts look like this. If you notice the blue chrome, when you buy a kit to modify your Sizzix, you're gonna get some stickers so you can measure where to cut. So you're gonna cut on this side of the blue. And then when I turn it over, you can see right here, you're just gonna cut on the inside of the blue and the inside of the blue. And this will be perfect measurements for making your machine. Your frame. Taking the frame apart and your, and your wheels apart, your rollers, you'll be ready to do your assembly. And this is how it goes. What you wanna do is go ahead and put, this notch belongs at the bottom one, bottom roller. And what you're gonna to have to do is put this insert ring right here and then attach this outside gear. And what I'll do is I'll tap it when I'm ready. And then I'm going to insert this horseshoe clip back on there. And it'll snap on just with my fingers. And it doesn't rotate, but it snaps on. And what this does, it helps align these other two gears on the other side and we can talk more about that later when we get the assembly done. The next part of the process is to go ahead and put this one in and you can have it at this angle. Now one of the things I want to point out to you is you're going to grab these two parts next and you're going to want to hold this this way, because this is the front. And then since the machine operates at this angle, the best thing to do is put these side pieces this way and just go ahead and put them on like this and then tilt it, tilt it back up. Next, you're gonna grab your feed drum and then you're gonna grab your polycarbonate cutting surface. And then next is your ejection wheels. And then go ahead and continue with 
lining these up. You want to make sure that you fit this top and bottom in because sometimes when you assemble the machine if something's at an angle it won't go together correctly so fitting all those pieces back in and then you're going to want to put this top part back on now sometimes it's hard to put in so use a, a, a little screwdriver To just move these feed these feed rollers in we just fit this last piece on and the best thing to do right now is to go ahead and put the base on and what I'm doing is I'm just looking to see how well my holes line up and it looks like they're pretty good so when you take the machine apart you want to make sure that you put the lock washer and this other washer on there Okay, after all the screws are in, you're gonna go ahead and flip it over and check your function. Next thing to do is put your other gears on. And one good way to line them up is to just turn the bottom one until they line up for you. The next step of the process is to put your gear handle apart your handle part together and what you want to do is make sure that when you put this together that this hole this rod goes through this hole and you have to move these parts back and forth just like that so the gear fits inside and this rod fits and this part fit just like that right here. Later on, we're gonna put the locking suction cup handle through this area. Next, we're gonna do for the assembly is put this little spacer in. And we're also gonna put this gear cover on right here and it just snaps in place. It's kind of a tight fit. You just fit it in place. Now after you have your spacer on, you wanna make sure that you push the rod all the way over. If you have to use a screwdriver to push the rod over, go ahead and do so. And then take your handle and line it up. There's a flat part, there's a flat part inside the handle and you wanna make sure that you line that up with the, the, the crank. This Allen wrench goes inside here, but I also need to use the Allen wrench to put the bottom bearing on with the suction cup. So I'm gonna show you how to do that part first. So what you need to do is go ahead and line everything up on the bottom, flip this machine over, and then you wanna put the suction cup part and these two parts together. And feed them through. Right here is where the handle goes through and I'm gonna go ahead and put the locking collar on here. Now there's an easy way to do it. You just go underneath, pull this out a little bit, put it together, push it in, and then just go ahead and turn it until it gets tight. And I'll switch it for more leverage, just like so. There's your locking collar 
and suction cup part that's all together. Okay, next go back to your spacer and then handle. This Allen wrench goes all the way through and then to take the Allen wrench out, you go ahead and turn it sideways to keep it in a secured location, just turn it this way. The next step in the process is to assemble the handle. And I recommend using a Phillips head screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver. Make sure it's tight and then put your nut on. After all these items are assembled, just these last part for the finishing touches go on the front and back and then your assembly for the machine is complete. This is how the modification is done with the Sizzix Sidekick. And when you're all done, this is what the machine will look like. So here's the side view. All these parts can be found on, on, on Etsy, 3D Origami Dream Bank. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Moving right along. I wanted to show you today how to use this new and improved piece. It's the, it's the right hand side of the machine and this part fits in just like this. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to remove it. So what you're going to do to take down the machine is you're going to twist the Allen wrench sideways and you're going to pull it out. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this cutting wheel. Okay. Push this over to the side and this part comes off. Next, I'm going to take this Allen key and I want to undo this locking collar. You remember moments ago, I told you to take off the plastic piece inside? Well, now you use this locking collar and you're gonna get that with the kit. Now, I just undid the locking collar, so every this bottom handle is gonna come out, which releases the suction cup. The suction cup just came out and the gears, the gears will come off, of course, but you can turn it upside down. And what I want you to do is decide with the holes just undo these screws only. Once you get all the screws out, you want to go ahead and take the top cover off, take this part out, and you're going to be ready to squeeze this part so you can lift this top part off. Just like that. That's how you use this piece. Now what I want to do is I want to change this to a new one, just like that. And then go to go ahead and re install it, you're gonna line up this hole with this brush. The brush comes out, you wanna put it back, and then go ahead and line this up. And make sure your, your ejection wheel fits. Leave your rods in. Now, if you notice, these rods actually come from the machine itself. This was the, the suction cup handle, and this is your top gear, your crank. 
and these parts fit in here which allow you to actually put the machine together. Put this back and go ahead and squeeze and put it back together. It's that easy. Take these handles and put them to the side and then go ahead and put your screws back. Now the locking collar goes on first, the lock washer, and then the actual flat washer. You don't want to you don't want to put them on backwards. Lock washer, flat washer. Now when I put these screws on, I'm just making them hand tight. They don't need to be super tight. Because you don't want to strip out your, your metal. Give it a little wiggle. Make sure everything's in tight. These two brackets will hold everything centered in the middle. And then just go ahead and start the assembly part back. By putting this rod in first and then putting this on and then sliding this forward is one of the first steps. And then what you wanna do is put this bottom crank in, turn it upside down, you see how it lines up with this hole? Well, you're going to stick this through the suction cup. Just like that. Now, it may be blocked from the camera's view. But you can see when I'm done, all I did was just stick it through the bottom part. Now what I'm doing is I'm lining it up so I can put my collar back. And I go ahead and I'll put it in from the bottom. I'll pull this out just a little bit and I'll line it up and I just push it through. Just like that and I want to tighten it up. Now we do sell most of these parts independently in case you lose one or you drop the machine and something breaks. Uh, we sell Allen wrenches. I even have some gears to sell. So if you're missing any item, go ahead and email me and uh, I can list them for sale on Etsy. So we can take care of your needs. Now the next thing I wanna do is put these gears back. Just like that. Sometimes you have to rotate the bottom gear to make them fit. I just happen to get them to go on good. Push this top part back and you can, you can put the gear guard in. You have to push this all the way back or else it's not gonna go in. It's just, it's just one of those uh, tight fits. The handle fits on over the hole and you can go ahead and put your Allen wrench back in. This is a new and improved handle design. The uh, black rubber holds this nut in place so it doesn't come loose over time. And the Allen wrench is a secured mechanism for, for this. So this concludes this part of the video on how to change out the, the cutting drum with the new and improved part.